it certainly has. We, it's not the year we were expecting. Before we start talking about uh, things that have happened during the year, you've got an interesting history, Joe. Correct me if I'm wrong. You came here for one year, signed a contract, and you've been here for 20 years. Yeah, I, I, and I never thought I'd be the principal, but yeah, I came up from one year and I'd been working in the New South Wales state system, uh, had the opportunity to teach here for a year, fell in love with the school and Harvey Bay. Surprisingly to, to me, I uh, worked my way into the principal's chair and, and what an honour it is. Joe, how does it work? You're, you're a teacher and you're interested in teaching kids. When did the aspirations to become a principal come together? I think uh, once you get into leadership, you start to think, well, where can this journey take me? And uh, I think inside every deputy principal, uh, there's a principal trying to get out. Congratulations to the school. This year you celebrate 25 years There must have been a lot of things in that time that you've seen and and seen the school evolve. Yeah, it's been an amazing journey. It's gone from this uh, first independent school in the Harvey Bay area. Uh, It was quite new at the time and people didn't know what to think of it. It was trying to find its place. And now after 25 years, it's really well established and plenty of memories uh, that we've had over the time. And it continues to go from strength to strength. You would have been here pretty much at the start of the school. So you're building, well, you're trying to get students in here, you're getting teachers. But more importantly, I suppose you're trying to build a really strong, healthy culture. Yeah, it's all about a community we're really trying to build here. The way the world is now, uh, society looks to institutions to provide community. And one of those institutions is the school people don't just want to be part of a learning factory that churns out QCEs and OP and ATAR results they want to be part of something bigger than themselves they want to be part of a community and we when we take a a student on we actually take the family on and welcome them into the community you were mentioning there about ATAR it seems every year there's another innovation that goes into the uh, education system can you give us an overview of that yeah, we'll see. I'm from New South Wales and, and the ATAR system is similar to um, what, when I did my HSC. So people of my age uh, probably remember something, doing mass exams at the end of year 12 in halls that went for a long time and the pressure and the stress that came with it. We're moving towards that in Queensland. We have moved towards that away from an OP system. And I think, well, the ATAR system will bring with it some extra stresses, but I think it'll be a more of a level playing field for students and schools as well. ABC Wide Bay speaking to Joe Wright, principal at Fraser Coast Anglican College. Joe, we were touching on the um, events of the year. How has it affected your school, students, teachers, and how's it been trying to keep the balls in the air? We've been really lucky here with the community, uh, has been very supportive of the school and the students. Uh, The teachers uh, are very experienced and have done an amazing job in the five weeks that we had to flip everything on its head. Um, We were well set up for uh, online learning in the first place and... um, but it's, it was difficult. It was really difficult for everyone. You know, uh, some teachers learned a lot from the experience. Some were very challenged by it. Some students thrived in the online environment and some really struggled not being at school. And I think uh, we will see the effects of these this year played out in education and in the well-being of our children over the next two to five years I think. You mentioned well-being have you got any programs maybe thinking about doing to um, make a little bit easier the transition for students and also teachers as well? Yes so uh, we have a being an Anglican school we're about holistic development of students so we care body mind and spirit for our students so we have structures and programs in place to do that to support that uh, but I think all sh- schools should be looking at uh, their programs at the moment and seeing what we can do because I think uh, we'll start to see things played out in our school that children are and society in general is uh, quite anxious at the moment I think so being at school can be anxious being at school can be difficult for some students anyway but when you put on top of that a worldwide pandemic what they're seeing on the news mum and dad's worries at home the economic worries, uh, even though you try and keep those from your children, 
um, they pick up on that kind of thing and then they've got to come to school and and they've got this pressure particularly the older ones to perform with their ATAR and that they, they want to get good prospects for the future yet they're hearing on the news uh, bad news about the economy we should be looking at all our programs at the moment as educators and how we can best serve this generation as they move through the system and into the workforce congratulations uh, joe and the school for 25 years thank you i uh, appreciate it it's been a journey for those of us that have been here for a while and and the families that have gone through the school uh, we're very proud of the school and uh, it has really started to establish its place in this community